Greetings and thank you for joining me today for this short video on how to install the NetApp Snap Creator Framework on Linux. This video will specifically focus on the server installation of Snap Creator on a Red Hat Linux server. Before beginning installation, there are a few pre-installation steps that should be considered. The first is the creation of a data ONTAP user. NetApp recommends creating a new user to control access and limit the scope of the Snap Creator account. Detailed information on how to do this can be found in the Snap Creator installation and administration guide. The second step is verify or install Java. Snap Creator server uses Java for the graphical user interface or GUI and requires a minimum version of 1.6. The version of Java can be verified by typing in the command java-version. As you can see from the on-screen example, this server has version 1.6 installed, which meets our minimum requirements. The bit level of Java should also be considered. For the purposes of this video, I'm using a 32-bit Red Hat server, so I will install 32-bit Snap Creator, which means that I will also want to have 32-bit Java. As you can see from the on-screen output, the Java version is not explicitly mentioned, which means it's 32-bit. If the version is 64-bit, it will explicitly be stated. The third thing you'll need to do is download Snap Creator Framework. This can be downloaded from now.netapp.com. Go to the Software Download sections and choose Snap Creator. From there, select the operating system and bit level that you wish to install. For this video, I've already downloaded Snap Creator in the SC3.5 directory. And for Linux, this comes as a zipped file. So the first step we need to do is unzip it. For Linux, we'll do that with the gunzip command. And once we've finished, we have a tar file, which we now need to untar. We'll do that with the tar-xvf switch. Once the file is untarred, it leaves us with two directories sc agent and sc server. For this video we're going to focus on the server install so I'm going to change directories into sc server. If you wish to install the agent you would change directories into the sc agent directory. Otherwise the commands are essentially the same. So now that we have snap creator installed we need to configure it. We do so by running the command snap creator dash dash profile setup. You will first need to read through and agree the end user license agreement. And now you're prompted to if you want to install the NetApp snap creator framework server. If you wish to install the server, select yes. If you wish to install the agent, select no. For us we're going to install the server so we'll select yes. This is prompting you for the serial number of your storage system, of your controller. That information will be embedded into any output such as SC dump. so when we look at logs we can see the serial number for your storage system. This is an optional field so I'm just going to hit enter. Next you're asked if you'd like to enable the GUI job monitor. The GUI job monitor is new as of Snap Creator 3.5. We're going to enable the job monitor. And you're asked how many jobs you'd like to allow. This is how many jobs it will keep in the history of the GUI. The Windows install defaults to 100, so I'm going to use the same number. Now you're prompted for your GUI administrator username. This is the user that we use to log on to the GUI. I'm going to use SC user and enter a password. This completes the configuration for Snap Creator. And on screen you'll see instructions on how to start the GUI. We'll follow these instructions now. Change directories to GUI and enter the command. If 
you encounter trouble during this step, I have two recommendations. First of all, re-verify that Java is installed and check the version to make sure that you meet the minimum requirements of 1.6. Another thing to check is your temp directory. Make sure you have enough space in the temp directory for any temporary files that are created when Snap Creator is started. Now that the Snap Creator GUI has been started, the next thing we need to do is open a web browser and go to the GUI page that's referenced here. Enter the credentials that were provided during the setup portion and click connect. This completes the installation and configuration of the NetApp Snap Creator framework. Keep an eye out for additional videos coming soon. Thank you for your time and have a great day.